guys, Disney Dave coming at you once again from Down Under with another Disney Blu-ray announcement video. Now this announcement was made a couple of weeks ago. I've sort of been putting this video off, but a few people have been asking me about this and I know these videos are often quite popular, so I'm gonna do one. Uh, we are of course talking about the announcement of Cars 3 on Blu-ray, uh, 4K, 3D, etc. So there are a ton of different versions of this movie coming out all around the world as always with Disney movies. Movies. Not every country gets the exact same thing. Some countries are going to be getting 3D releases of this movie. Some countries are going to be getting 4K releases of this movie. Some countries are just going to be getting 2D releases of this movie. It's really all over the place. Disney, um, when it comes to consistency and just sort of release scheduling, they're really all over the place. And they just, sometimes they just can't seem to make up their minds. So we're trying to put this together in this one kind of neat little package. I'm going to be telling you about all the different versions that are going to be available. Hopefully going to make it easier for you you as the consumer to pick which version you want to buy whether you're going to buy it locally or import or whatever else we're also going to go through the list of the special features that have been announced for this title as well so uh, let's get straight into it let's try and make this quick because there is surprisingly actually quite a few versions of this movie available and quite a bit to cover so let's get into this Cars 3 straight off the bat I haven't seen Cars 3 yet I was actually overseas when this came out so I just like everyone out there is waiting for the uh, blu-ray release of this first up let's actually take a look at the special features that are included in uh, the Cars 3 a release, I believe, in the US at least. Uh, this is going to be a two disc Blu ray set, and as most Pixar movies do, they have two discs one disc for the film, second disc special features. I will say off the bat that the UK and the Australian releases look like, as per usual, they're going to be discarding the second disc. So, as of right now, with the information that I've got at the moment, it looks like they're just single disc releases, and again, we're getting ripped off of the special features features which you would otherwise get in the US. Annoying, again these things can change further down the line but the information that I have right now is telling me that the UK and the Australian sets are one disc Blu-ray while as the, the US sets are two disc. I'm guessing all these special features will most likely be on the second disc and probably won't apply to the UK and Australian sets. So special features that we're looking at for this release are Miss Fritter's Racing School which is an exclusive new mini movie. Uh, we're looking at a theatrical short uh, which must have been the short that played at the beginning of the movie movie when you see the theatres. Let's get crazy! Get schooled in the world of Demolition Derby. The rules of figure eight racing and how Pixar puts the crazy in the Thunder Hollow Crazy 8 race. Uh, so that's a, a short featurette. Another featurette called Legendary, which is a close historical look at the racing legends Wendell Scott and Lewis Smith. So this is a little bit of a sort of a NASCAR history thing I suppose. Another one called Ready for Race. Disney Channel's Olivia Rodrigo and NASCAR racer William Byron. Check out the Hendrick Motorsports campus to showcase how real world race training influence the filmmakers. So it's kind of interesting. World's fastest billboard. Blink and you will miss all these graphics and carified advertisements created by Pixar Art Team to make Cars 3 world as believable as possible. Sounds very cool. Cruz Ramirez. The yellow car that could. Join Cristela Alonso and the filmmakers on their journey to create a race car trainer turned champion racer. Another feature called Generations. The story of Cars 3. But the story team creating Lightning McQueen's next chapter didn't involve just a tune-up but a complete overhaul. Sounds Sounds great as well. Another one called My First Car. A collection of illustrated first car stories as narrated by members of the Cars 3 cast and crew. Eh, it's an interesting, a little bit of a fluff piece, but interesting. Uh, we also get five deleted scenes on here. But there's another feature on here called Cars to Diecast for. Take a look at the phenomenon of diecast toy collecting and more than the 1,000 unique designs that exist in the Cars universe. That's pretty cool. And we also get an audio commentary on here and more. The and more is probably trailers, maybe concept art. Uh, previews of other movies, just random fluffy bits like that. But that yeah, that sounds jam-packed. Uh, there's a whole ton of special features on there and I'm guessing, judging by the amount of stuff that's here, this is most likely going to be all on the second bonus features disc. But I'm guessing the uh, Oz and UK sets will at least have the commentary and probably the theatrical short and maybe the new mini movie. Again, that's not clear right now, but uh, that's just how, how I'm seeing this at, at the moment. So, there are all the special features we're going to be getting with this set. Now let's take a look at all the different versions that are going to be released. As always, let's start with the US releases. So first off the bat, uh, of course, there is just the standard release which is coming out, which is a two Blu-ray release feature film on one and the bonuses on the other disc, plus a DVD of the film and a digital copy. And then of course, this movie is getting the 4K treatment in what Disney and Pixar are touting as the ultimate collector's edition in 4K. This of course includes the 4K disc, plus uh, the two Blu-ray discs and a digital 
digital copy. So they're the two main releases of the film. We of course are going to have a, a ton of exclusive releases as well. Best Buy is getting an exclusive steelbook which includes not only the two Blu-ray but also includes a DVD and of course the digital copy. Does not include the 4K disc. Target is getting an exclusive 32 page storybook edition which again includes the two Blu-rays plus digital copy plus a DVD. Does not include the 4K disc sadly. And Walmart is also getting an exclusive which is just the standard packaging. That's the two Blu-rays, the DVD and the digital copy but includes three Mater Cars Tune shorts. No word on whether these are on a separate like DVD disc or Blu-ray disc or whether they're digital. My guess is they're probably going to be digital. The three shorts are Radiator Springs 500 and a half, which has never been released on physical media to my knowledge. Uh, and it also includes Monster Truck Mater and Rescue Squad Mater, which have both been released on Blu-ray on the Mater's Tall Tales Cars Tune shorts Blu-ray that was released quite a while ago. So really that's a bit of a superfluous exclusive. I don't know what the point of that existing is. Of all the exclusive, that sounds like the most boring one, especially if those shorts turn out to be digital only. Uh, but of course there will be a standard DVD release of this as well. The one big glaring omission from the US market for this film is once again 3D. Of course Disney have once again dropped 3D all together. And sadly, at first when Disney first got rid of the 3D releases, at least Pixar were releasing their movies in 3D. But now it looks like, it looks like a big no-go Disney brands all round. No 3D releases at all, which is a big shame. Because the Cars movies especially have been fantastic in 3D and it looks like there's not even a store exclusive with 3D. The past Marvel movies and, and Rogue One they had the 3Ds as store exclusives. It looks like no 3D for for the US market at all for Cars 3 which is a big shame and it really looks like a nail in the coffin for 3D for Disney and probably 3D altogether in the US. So that's all the uh, major US releases. I'm guessing there'll probably be like a Disney store exclusive with lithographs, maybe a Disney Movie Club exclusive with lithographs as well uh, but I don't have that information on me right at, at this moment but I'm guessing they'll probably exist as well. So let's take a look at the UK releases of Cars 3. Now as I said uh, we're going to be getting a Blu-ray release of the film. No second disc, no digital copy as far as I can see at the moment. But the, the big upside for UK is that the UK will be getting a 3D release of the film which will come with uh, one Blu-ray 3D of course and the one times Blu-ray no bonus features disc again might change but the information that I have right now is saying this is only one Blu-ray. But at least the UK market is getting a 3D disc which opens up the possibility for people to import UK Disney discs just as the US Disney discs are. They are region free so if you want a 3D disc you can import and usually really cheap to import on Amazon UK. UK as always are also getting a Zabby exclusive steelbook which will be uh, actually a Blu-ray and Blu-ray 3D steelbook. So if you want the steelbook you get the 3D in there as well as the Blu-ray. No bonus disc. And it also looks like the UK will be getting a Cars 3 movie box set. Of course, uh, the three movies that make up the, so far, Cars trilogy. Of course, Cars, Cars 2 and Cars 3. The UK tend to do these all the time. Little trilogy box sets or multi-movie box sets. Whereas the US uh, don't get them for some reason or another. I'm guessing these will be single disc versions of the movies and it won't include 3D. But this is certainly a very, very good option for those who don't already own the previous two movies in the franchise. And as always, a regular DVD uh, version of this movie will be available as well. So that's all the releases in the UK market, which means no 4K for the UK. Don't know why, Disney's just not releasing 4K discs in the UK. I'm sure they will eventually, and then I'll probably go back through their back catalogue and re-release uh, the three that we've had so far. But at the moment, no 4K releases. Uh, Australia has been releasing 4K release of Disney movies. However, as we will see, Cars 3 will not be getting a 4K release in Australia. Don't know why. Very, very interesting. That means it's a good segue into the Australian releases of Cars 3. Now this is going by a, a current Disney release schedule. Things might change. A 4K disc might pop up somewhere down the line. I'm not too sure. 
With the recent release of Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales, we got a 4K release here, but we didn't get the 3D release, which the UK got. Usually we would get the, the 3D release. But it seems like with Cars 3, we are getting the 3D release and no 4K. So I don't know whether Disney in Australia are maybe just testing the market, seeing uh, what sells better, 3D or 4K. Really, it shouldn't be an option either rule. They're two completely different formats, and it shouldn't be a matter of which one's going to succeed over the other, because they're two completely different viewing experiences, and we should have the option to have all the different viewing experiences available to us. I just, I don't know why they just, they just don't offer it to us. Maybe Disney Australia, maybe are just sort of picking and choosing. This one's a good 3D experience, we'll release that in 3D. This one's a good 4K experience, we'll release that in 4K. Guns of the Galaxy Volume 2 was released in 3D and 4K. Again, it's just so confusing how they make up their minds as to what to release. But yes, anyway, Australian release, we're going to be getting the one Blu-ray release, 3D Blu-ray plus Blu-ray disc, uh, and then they're also releasing, as they do, the 3D Blu-ray disc by itself without the Blu-ray disc at the same price point. Don't know why you wouldn't go for the one that has 3D plus 2D, but anyway. And in Australia as well, there will be a single DVD disc available to purchase as well. Okay, and also in Australia, this hasn't been announced yet, but I'm assuming that we'll also be getting a JB exclusive steelbook for this release. JB always releases a steelbook for the Disney movies, which are always exactly the same as the Xavi steelbook, just without the 3D disc. So it's a single Blu-ray disc. I'm assuming, guessing it's going to be the same case for this. Again, this hasn't been announced yet, but I'm, I'm saying it's a 99% possibility that we'll be getting a JB exclusive uh, steelbook for Cars 3. And of course, again, no 4K available on the Australian market. Don't know why. So that is US, UK, Australia. There's tons of other versions right around the world. But we are going to sort of break this down. Let's talk about the countries that will be releasing 3D discs. So these are the countries that have announced 3D discs heading their way. That is the UK, Australia, France, Spain, Denmark, Finland, Norway, Sweden, and Japan. All of those countries have announced 3D discs so far. So there's quite a number of, of countries with 3D discs, but of course, no US 3D. Uh, and now here we get to the interesting thing, which is the countries with announced 4K, and that is US and Japan. That is it. Interesting to note, the Japan release of this film includes both 4K and 3D. Why don't they do this everywhere around the world? Just give us a big bundle, 4K, 3D, Blu-ray. Just release the big bundle that we can all buy. So I have to quit buying two or three different versions of these movies every single time one of them comes out. Look, Japan, Disney Japan, they've got their heads screwed on straight. And they are making things easy for their consumers. Well done, Japan. You are doing it right. So if you do want to import a 4K, 3D, plus 2D disc, set you can import from japan but it's always very expensive on amazon japan like regular disc blu-rays can come to a hundred dollars sometimes it's just the, can, the exchange rate is crazy over there so yeah only those two countries of the 4k announced which is very strange because this seems like a great title to launch uh disney animation in 4k worldwide take advantage of this guys take advantage of it i don't know why you're not only two countries that's that's a, that's that's a shame for me, I will personally be importing the 4K set from the US and then I will also be buying the 3D set from the UK. That way I'll get both in slip covers and I get both different versions of the movie. I don't mind buying a couple of different versions. I think it's ridiculous that I have to, but I just, I don't mind doing it. Usually I would also like to buy a, a local disc just to support the local market, but I don't feel like there's anything that's grabbing me from the Australian market right now. I don't think I'll be picking up the steelbook for this movie. Don't particularly like the artwork, but then again, things might change and I might just have a change of heart on the day and just go out and splurge on the steelbook. Okay, well that just about covers everything with this release. I hope I've made everything just a little bit clearer for everyone. I hope I've helped you make up your mind about what version you're gonna go out and buy. It's a difficult situation sometimes, I know, especially when the studios decide to release so many different versions of stuff with so many different viewing experiences and it's, it's just, they, they make it so hard. If you're a first time viewer of my channel, you'd like to be seen, you'd like to see some more. Every time Disney do a Blu-ray announcement, I'm right there on the ball, even though I'm a couple of weeks late with this one. But I'm on the ball, usually, like straight away. Um, if you like this video, I, I do these all the time, as well as all other kind of Disney related videos. So if you like what you've seen, you want to see some more, please give me some support and after the jump, hit subscribe. To all our regular viewers out there, thank you once again for joining me and to absolutely everybody. I hope I'll see you again soon. Until next time though, guys, take care and I hope you have a magical day.